just a quick thing, uh, if you can hear any noises in the background, that's uh, probably my brother and not to be concerned about. Enjoy the video! Hello! Um, this is a bit of a different um, video today, I suppose, um, because it is not reviewing something, or reviewing, something I have done before. This time, in today's upload, I'm going to be looking at this wonderful piece of technology, not really, that I have uh, had for me for a very long time, had around me, sorry, for a very long time. It is, um, it's an airsoft gun, obviously. I mean, I wish I had the real one, but I don't. Um, and yeah, it's modelled after a Glock 18, so essentially just a normal Glock, but it has full auto with this bit, which is, this up is semi and then down is uh, not two round burst, it is full auto. It is a Raven, an EU Raven thing. It's 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 a very standard Glock, but I'm very pleased I have it because it is just very reliable and I really like it. As you can see by the battle damage, battle damage, not really. Um, I've used this quite a lot and I have murdered many many people or well, not murdered murdered but you know what i mean um i have a holster for it which is in here and it's it's just a very very reliable gun especially when you're running around with a shotgun which i am doing most of the time um so yeah so the things i have with this um are this magazine this magazine they're exactly the same, except for one is the original. I don't actually know. But also, one of them I lost the base plate for, and when I went airsofting one time, I just picked up another one. So this one, that's normally the gas port, but it's actually not. You have to um, slide it forwards, and it's there. Um, and then I have Girthy Boy, uh, which is, is very fuzzy, apparently. Still being fuzzy. Hold on. Cease. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's an extended mag for it. A little bit. Uh, and that is always a fun thing. Um, haven't actually been too many times where I've used it um, because I don't. I normally, again, I go around with a shotgun and then don't actually need the extended, so I just run around with these. Um, but I always have this in my chest. Not in my chest, but like on my chest. Um, yeah, it's it's just long, really. And it has like 50 rounds or something. These hold 35, something? I don't know. Um, yeah. Damage to this. Well, there isn't actually too much that affects it too much, except for the... It rattles a bit, but I think that's just a kind of uh, thing with most airsoft guns. Um, as you can see, the uh, well, you might you may may not have noticed, but the this is blue, and so is in that ridge and there. Purposely done like that kind of. Um, I scr uh, I didn't at all scratch the paint off. Um, it completely came like this, and I have nothing to do with the reason it's silver and scratched up. That's fine. That, however, that isn't actually me. That was um, putting it in and out of a holster, because that's where a bit goes. Um, taking this gun apart, obviously the blue inside and the orange uh, gas nozzle, press these two bits, and it goes... And then you have, a, have an extended barrel gun. I'm joking, you don't have a functional gun. Um, comes apart. Spring. Um, how do I do this again? barrel and inner barrel and outer barrel. It's quite a short barrel actually, which I for some reason never really noticed. Um, and also the gas piston and gas nozzle, which is orange, because of course it is. Uh, the This bit slides that little bit over, which then does stuff with it. Anyway, damage to this, um, I remember one time, I was trying to show one of my friends uh, it working, because it was like I'm so cool. I shot once and then it broke. Because I don't know if you'll be able to see. Hold on. Uh 
Not really, but essentially there was a the piece of metal where the spring goes against, and it snapped off. So I had to repair it with a drill bit uh, that I broke off, and then some super glue. So that's always cool. Uh, Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my very long firing range to shoot this indoors, which is always a good idea. Um, I won't lie, I don't I don't have a chronograph, or actually no, I do, but I can't really be bothered to um, you know go get it and test it. But I remember I went through a chronograph at the SL place I go, and it was like three, no, it was about two ninety FPS, which is like his pistol kind of things, and I uh, currently am using, because, you know, I just, this is the closest one nearby, it is a 2.8, no, sorry, not 2.8, 1.0.8, fuck, <sighs> 0 0.28 gram BB, Jesus, and lovely full can of green gas that doesn't have a bullet hole in it. Um, which is nice. Uh, anyway, yeah. Standard... <laughs> standard way of using this gun is opening the slide and then putting the magazine in... No, I'm joking. Is, um, putting the magazine in the bottom. Giving it a... Make sure it's in there. Um, and then... Think BB is there. And is ready. This is in semi-auto first. There we go, and as you can see, the slide has caught, caught open because of the tiny bit of plastic there. Second one. I'm doing full auto, which sure, should be fun. It's only three shots. There we go. That went cold. I don't know why this magazine is a bit funky. I might need to fix it. And finally... That was weird. Uh, extended, which has, uh, five. Cool beans, I think. Uh, yeah. I have done that to people, and it's quite a satisfying thing. And I remember this one time, there was a bit of cover, and I saw a, a person through it, and I was like... And I had my shotgun, and I was like, ah. I'm sorry. And then I shot them both, which is quite sad. Um... <laughs> Well, it was, well, for them, I suppose. For me, it was like, that was fun. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you on this fine evening. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for showing up. And I will see you at some point soon.